Dear friends, good day. Domenico Scarlatti, Sonata in C minor, K230, which will be presented in a moment, is a very important piece of work. The sonata is marked Allegro, and it is as baroque as you can get, both in terms of writing and especially of conception. In fact, it is a very concertante kind of piece, and in order to appreciate it fully, we may think of the baroque orchestra, and especially of the great concerto that Johann Sebastian Bach wrote for it. Let's take, for instance, one of the Brandenburg concertos. The sonata opens in a contrapuntal fashion. It's very serious, very imposing music. But then Domenico writes a passage which I can only describe as crazy. The right hand punctuates the same note time and time again, whilst the left hand plays a much faster figuration which modulates and pushes the music upwards towards the high regions of the keyboard. This, of course, creates quite an incredible amount of tension, which must find some form of release. Said release is provided by Domenico in an a solo episode, hence my reference to the concertante work. If we pretend that this is a concerto for solo and orchestra, we may imagine that the orchestra is played up to now, building the momento, and now is a moment for the soloist to shine. The soloist has to play a passage in alternate hands, quite furious, which has a very improvisatory character. And we may think that said soloist is either a harpsichordist or perhaps a mandolinist. When the soloist has done his bit, the whole orchestra joins in again to close the sonata. We have a bonus insofar that this happens twice in the first and second half of the sonata. The only difference, perhaps, is that in the second part of the piece, there's also a small parenthesis of lyricism. Overall, there is no doubt that this sonata is the product of a great virtuoso enjoying himself but pretending of being a little bit of everything. The orchestra, the soloist, and perhaps Rus, even the conductor, which at Domenico's time didn't exist. Buon ascolto.